Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Tonight we are live at Newell Stadium in Gloucester where the fishermen take on the Sachems from Sargas in Varsity Football. Tonight's game is brought to you by Cape Ann Media Productions. Camp can handle all of your business, commercial, real estate, and industrial media needs, including FAA licensed drone operations. KPN Media Productions, 978-879-3226. Also, if you like, if you would like our coverage of high school sports, please consider a donation to help defray the cost of our live stream here on KPN Live. Go to tinyurl.com slash kpnlive or scan the QR code on the screen to leave a donation. Any amount will be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody, good evening. I'm Phil Nicastro. Now we're at Newell Stadium for the Gloucester Fisherman versus the Saugus Sachems. Both teams are at the midfield for the coin toss right now. Both teams have three wins, two losses. Fisherman coming in on a two-game losing streak. Saugus comes in on a two-game losing streak. Both teams are in Division 5. Gloucester ranks. Right now, Gloucester's rank is number 20. Saugus' rank is number 22. So the winner of this game will stay in the playoff hunt. The loser is probably on the outside looking in. All right, here we go. The teams are getting ready. So a very important Division 5 game here tonight. It's also a very important Northeast Conference game here tonight. But with the playoff system being the way it is, the state level takes precedent. John Cucciati. Number two will be back at quarterback tonight. Cameron Whitfeld is back in the lineup, number 11. But he'll be playing wide receiver tonight. Our national anthem. We thank you for your service to our country. Now, would you please rise and join the members of the Washington JROTC and presenting the colors in all service flags, Army, Marines, Marines, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard, celebrating all members of our armed forces, past and present, during the playing of our national anthem. The color guard tonight is commanded by Cadet Ace Abet. The performance of our national anthem performed this evening by the Gloucester High School Band under the direction of Mr. Cole Lundquist. Mr. Lundquist is assisted by Band President Thea Cunningham and Vice President Sam Cook. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was our national anthem. And we are just about ready for a very important Division 5 game here tonight. Both teams need a win. 
to stay in the playoff hunt. Like I said, the top 16 get in in each division. That's the same for Division 5. And, you know, it's already week six. Gloucester has three wins. Saugus has three wins. The Fisherman will get the ball first. Saugus did win the toss. But they deferred to the second half. So Gloucester will, will go on offense first. On a very pleasant evening down here at Newell Stadium. Temperature in the low 60s. <coughs> Hardly any wind. A little sog is a little uh, onside kick fake. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Fielded by the Fisherman, 25, 30, and he takes a hit. <clears throat> Number 54 for Sargis. Brandon Fiella with a nice tackle. So the ball will be placed on the gloss to the 30-yard line. First and ten fishermen to start the evening at their own 30. Fisherman's offense has been a struggle the last couple of weeks. Need to get back into gear. Shotgun. Gucciardi, number two, a QB. Hand off Souza. Souza runs it up the middle. Actually, that was kind of that was off tackle. That was a gain of about three. Souza's having an excellent year for the fishermen. Caden Souza. All right, here we go. Second down, seven. Motion goes Whitfelt. Hand off. Nice run, nice run. Good block on that time. It's Souza again. Cuts it back inside. And he gets out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. Actually, they put him out of bounds at the 37 of Saugus. Excellent run by Jaden Souza. <clears throat> well, so far this year, Souza's no question. Gloss's uh, best offensive weapon. He's a good downhill runner. Good re see if you see the replay there. So it's first and ten. Gloss, they're inside Saugus territory. Souza again cuts it up to the middle, finds a more room. He has the pile moving. He might even get the first down. He takes it inside the fifteen. No, inside the twenty-five. To about the 22. So Souza, three carries. And he's got the fisherman all the way down to the 23 yard line. So this drive started on the Gloss's own 30. This is the fourth play of the drive. Pass. Wide receiver screen. Complete. Number four. Brady Patton, the receiver. Gain of five. Be second down. Oh, they give him four. Okay, second down, six. So the fishermen have a nice opening drive going right here. They they gotta cap it off. Part of the problem is they're not capping off these drives. Gucciati. Gonna pass again, throws it out there. 
incomplete. I think he was looking for Whitfelt. Now it's third and six for Gloucester. So third down and six. After the incomplete pass. Get two men in the backfield this time in the shotgun formation. And they give it to Sousa again. And he tries to cut it in. And he, he's not going to get the first down. He got a couple of yards out of it. But it's going to bring up a fourth down for the fisherman. And here we go again. So let's see if Gloucester can convert a fourth down here. Clock is running. We're under nine and a half minutes in the first quarter. This is the first drive of the game. Gloucester's had the ball the whole time. Scucciati rolls out. He might as well just run with it now. Yeah, he does, and he will get the first down. He was rolling out, and he was looking to throw. But he saw nobody open, and he had a lane to run, and he took advantage of it and got the first down. Okay, so the fishermen convert on a fourth down situation. Makes it first and ten again. I think it's at the 12. Yeah. So Gloucester can still get another first down inside the two. All right, first and 10, Gloucester. Reverse, and it's, did he get in? And into the touchdown. All right, 6 nothing, Gloucester. A little creativity there. So it's 6 nothing Gloucester. Who scored? Who? Scored? Who? Cameron Rodolosi. Number 10 on the reverse. All right. Faked everybody out up here. <laughs> All right, extra point. Woodfell's out there. Snap ball down. Kick is up. And it is... Good. So with 9.01 left in the first quarter, Fisherman 7, the Saga Sachems nothing. That was a nice three minute drive for Gloucester. So we're going to see the Saugus offense for the first time tonight. <laughs> so kicking off a glass will be uh, uh, Cameron Whitfeld, number 11. Jalen Severino, number 23, still out of the lineup tonight with an injury. Nice kick. Nice kick, and it goes into the end zone. That was a beauty. For a touchback. Boy, Whitfeld really put a leg into that one. Okay, so here comes the Saugus offense. They trail it 7-0. Gloucester's defense comes out there now. The offense put together a nice three-minute drive to score a touchdown. All right, so here, comes, here come the Sachems. 
They're three and two. Gloss is three and two as well. Hand off. They can't have a couple. Number five, the ball carrier. Dylan Clark. Gain of two. Now they give him three. Second down, seven. Second down. Motion. A swing pass. He's got some room. Makes a cut. Runs into a wall of players. But I think he got the first down. Number nine. Ryan Shea, the receiver. What a nice little run that was. He caught the ball behind the line of scrimmage. And he managed the first down. The ball is right at the 30. So Saugus gets their first 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 down of the evening. Clock continues to run. We're under eight minutes. 6.30 start tonight. A little early start. Last couple of weeks have been like that. Shotgun formation again. Handed off. And this time the fishermen were there. Lost yardage on that play. Second down at about 12 now. Evan Mione was there. Michael Toppin, Mione. That strong defensive line for Gloucester. So it's second down and 12 for the Sachems. Throws it out there. There's that swing pass again. It's a fumble. No, oh, they call it an incomplete pass. Come on. <laughs> All right. Third down and 12. I thought he may have had that ball long enough, but referee said no. All right. Third down and long. Incomplete pass. Even if it was completed, he wouldn't have gone too far. There was two fishermen waiting for him. Hey, a third and long. Big play here for the Gloucester defense. Saugus passing. Heaves it out there. Number 11. And he's crying for a flag. He's not going to get one. Isaiah Rodriguez, the captain. He's crying for a flag still. But the referee said a good defensive play by the Gloucester D back. All right, so here comes the Saugus punt team. So Gloucester will get the ball back. And nice kick. Caught. Over the 50. Down the sidelines. That was, that was Gucciotti, the quarterback, on the punt return. And he gets the ball inside the uh, Saugus territory. There is the flag on the play. And it's going to go against the fishermen. So there goes that nice field position they had. They're still going to be okay, I think. No? Okay, Saugus has the ball. All right, so first and ten, Saugus. Oh. 
And they got him sacked. Good defense by Gloucester. Good. Number 55, Evan Mione. All right, I, I did not see the rough and the kicker penalty that was on Gloucester after the punt. So, yeah, the Saugus has the ball. They get, they get a first down out of it. But Gloucester just gets a sack, second down and 12. Now, a loss of two. Handoff. And good defense by the Fisherman. Number 11, Isaiah Rodriguez. He couldn't turn the corner. The Fisherman defense was there. Third and 12. Third and 12. <laughs> All right, third and 12. Clock ticking. We're approaching the five minute mark. A rough in the uh, punter penalty. Well, on Gloss has kept his drive alive for Saugus. He takes it up the middle. Oh, he's got plenty of room now. He's got a first down. And he gets pushed out of bounds. By number four, Brady Patton makes the tackle, but not before a first down. Once he got by the first wave of tacklers, it was clear sailing after that. So it's first and ten saga. So both teams got nice drives going on the uh, on their opening possessions. Hand off. Up the middle. They get a few yards there. Gain of about four, maybe five. Ethan Mahoney comes into the game. Evan Mione checks out. Fisherman rotating defensive lineman. Second down. Hand off. Shot gain. Bebo. Be about third and six. So another third down play for Gloss's defense. They held them once, but on the fourth down punt, Fisherman roughed the punter. Third and six. Throws it out there. He's got a man. Is he going to find him? Oh, it's, it's broken up. Good defensive play. I believe that was Brady Patton, number four. Nice defensive play by Brady Patton there. Now Sargis is facing a fourth down, but they're in Gloucester territory, so let's see what they do. It looks like they're going to go for it. Yeah. It looks like they're going to go for it to fourth down. Okay, here we go. Fourth down. Fades back. Throws it out there. It's caught. And he's going to get the first down. I think he just got it. Yep, they give him the first down. first down. So Saugus gets another first down on this drive. <laughs> so 
So another first and ten for the Sachems. They're at the gloss of 31 now. Under three minutes. Fades back. Throws it out there. And another great defensive play by the D-back for Gloucester. Number 10, Cameron Rodolosi. He's got a touchdown in a nice defensive play. Cameron Rodolosi, a sophomore. Nice play. You see every play. All right. Second down and 10 for Saugus. Fades back. He's got a man open in the flat. And close to a first down. Not quite there. It's a game of about nine. Oh, no, they do give him the first down. All right. This quarterback for Sargas, number six, Jordan Rodriguez. He may not be a big guy, but he's got a pretty good arm. Hand off. Shot gain. They give him two yards. So it's a second and eight on the Gloucester 20. And we're, we're down to 135 left in this quarter. And both teams have had the ball just once. Sargas is still in their first possession. Cape in live coverage of Gloucester high football. Hand off. Nowhere. Maybe a yard. Number 68 on the play, Anthony Russo. Now it's a third down and eight for Saugus. Another third down situation. Saugus has done well on third down situations. On this drive, we're under a minute. Fisherman still lead at 7 nothing. Fades back, throws it out there. It's picked off! It's Souza, and he's going to take it to the house. Jaden Souza, touchdown fisherman, a pick six. It was a nice looking drive Sargas had going until you turned the ball over. A pick six. Caden Souza. That was at the linebacker position. That's that's not a defensive back. That's a linebacker making that play. With 21 seconds left in the first quarter. Excellent play by Caden Souza. All right, Cameron would felt on for the extra point. And if you had a Saugus, boy, that could have ripped the gut out of you. You had a nice drive going. Snap ball down. Kick is up. It's good. So, the teams will head back upfield with the score of the Gloucester Fisherman. 14. The Saugus Sachems, nothing. Cameron Rodolosi. With a touchdown, Caden Souza with a beautiful pick six from the linebacker position. To make it 14-0, Fisherman. Two extra points by Cameron Whitfeld. 
to make it 14 nothing. To make a donation to KPN Live, go to tinyurl.com slash KPN Live or scan the QR code on the screen to leave a donation. Any amount would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Okay, Fisherman Leader, 14 nothing. And they boom it away. Woodfelt and Saugus has it. 10, 15, 20. Cut to the 25. And gets it up over the 25-yard line. Not a bad return by number 11, Rodriguez. So here comes the Saugus offense for the second time tonight. They had a nice drive going until the pick six. On the 27, they're starting up first and 10 and on their own 27, but there's just 12 seconds remaining in the quarter. So we'll probably have one more play in this quarter, and now we'll move on to the second. I think that quarterback from Saugus would love to have that throw back. He didn't even see Caden. Pitch out. Oh, takes a big hit. Number one, the ball carrier. Tommy DeSimon. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score. Fisherman 14. Saga Sachem's nothing. And like I just said, if you want to make a donation to KPN Live, go to Tiny. URL dot com slash Cape and Live or scan the QR code on the screen to leave a donation. Any amount would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. We love bringing you high school sports here on the Cape Ann. Field hockey team doing excellent this year. The soccer team doing very well this year. During the fall sports, football team hanging in there, three and two. They need a big win tonight. If they can win tonight, they'll be in the playoff hunt. They'll be stay in the playoff hunt. Fisherman will be at Peabody next week. That's going to be no picnic. That's why they got to win tonight. So Saugus will have the ball to start the second quarter. They'll be facing a second and eight. Okay, second down eight for the Sachems. 14 nothing Gloucester. Second down eight. First play of the second quarter. Pitch out. And he cuts it up. Maybe got a yard. Fisherman defense, he's much more aggressive tonight. Ball has been placed on the 30. They give him two yards on that play. About a third and seven. Third down, seven for the Sachems. Phase back. Throws it out there. And we have a flag finally. They're going to call pass interference just to please everybody. So we're going to have a pass interference on Gloss, unless he's going to call it on the offense. Nope. It's on the defense. But it's not a spot foul in high school football. It's a 
It's a 15-yard penalty, I think, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's Yep, the 15-yarder. Okay, first and 10 Sargas. They're at their own 45. Single back. Shotgun. And it's knocked down. Incomplete pass. <laughs> and Jaden Toppin, he had the ball. He was headed for the end zone for a TD. But it was an incomplete pass. All right, second and ten. And you knew Jaden Tom would have loved to have scored a touchdown on that play. All right. Second down, ten. Saugus on their own, 45. 14 nothing Gloucester. He rolls right. And we get a flag. Good holding on Saugus. Okay, yep. Second down, 20. For the Sachems. I think there would have been a sack on that play if it wasn't for the Holy. That's what probably prevented the sack. Freeman got good penetration on that play defensively. Yeah, there goes the ref. He's marking it off. Second down 20 for Saugus after the penalty. Second down, 20. Hand it off. Uh, got about a yard, maybe two. Number one, the ball carrier. Tommy DeSimon. So the Fisherman in Saugus both need this win tonight. This is a very big divisional game. <clears throat> the winner stays in the hunt. It's a third and 18. Fades back. He sacked. And that was Jaden Toppin. Toppin and Anthony Russo. They met at the quarterback. They got the sack. It brings up a fourth down. No, no. Oh, they turn over and down. That must have been a fourth down play. I thought that was the third down play. All right, I guess it was a fourth down. All right, fourth down play that was. I thought it was third. All right, so the fishermen take over on downs. First and 10 from the Saugus 30. Whitfeld finds a hole, breaks a couple tackles, gains about six or seven yards. Nice sweep there by Fisherman. Fourteen nothing Gloucester. Second down and three. Gucciardi keeps it, but the Saugus defense was on to him. He lost a yard. The quarterback keeper 
and that didn't fool the Sachems at all. A loss of a yard. Now it brings up a third and four. All right, a big third down play for the Fisherman. That's probably four down territory anyways. Souza, and he plows his way to the first down, and he goes forward. Gets inside the 20, down to about the 17 maybe. 17. And Caden Souza, what a hard runner he is. He drags the pile. And he scored a touchdown today but on defense. Seven and a half minutes left and a half. Fishermen taking their time as well they should. Just keep the ball on the ground here. Let the clock run and put in another touchdown and go in in half. Hand off. Oh, another pitch. And that play gained about two yards. Souza was the ball carrier. It was a handoff. Then it became an option. So, uh, and, it, and the running back pitched it to Souza. That was Whitfeld who did the uh, who got the handoff. There you see it right there. Yeah. But give Saugus credit. They they uh, they didn't they didn't fall for that play. They caught only two yards. All right, second down and eight for Gloucester. Then when the Saugus 15, Gucciati rolls out. Might as well keep running. There's plenty of room. And he's out of bounds on the 10. Make it the 9. But a third and about a yard and a half. A long one or a short two. Whatever you want to look at it. Third and about a yard and a half. All right, here comes Gloss, the third down. Oh, did the offense move? Yep, all right. Yeah, boy, you get a couple coaches up here, you sense the frustration. All right. That brings up a third and seven. Someone on the left end jumped. Thank you. So it's third down to seven now. Cucciati, he's looking. Decides to run. He'll get the first down. He'll take it down at about the five. Move the sticks. Well, oh, Gucciati, he was looking for a receiver. Couldn't find anybody. And he just takes off with it. He played running back last year. So he's not uncomfortable running the ball. Clock keeps running. Four minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the first half. And the Fisherman right now looking to take a three-touchdown lead. First and goal. Hand off. Touchdown, Fisherman. 
Cameron Whitfelt, who's playing wide receiver today on the sweep, jet sweep. Touchdown, 20 nothing Gloucester. Five yard TD run by Cameron Whitfelt on the jet sweep. Well, Whitfelt does give you more options on offense when you have him out at wide. I mean, he can do the sweep. He can be a running back. He can be a wide out. He's going to kick the ball right now. Snap ball down. And it's up, and it is good. So, the teams will head back upfield with 4 2 remaining in the first half. The score. The Gloucester Fisherman 21. The Saugus Sachems nothing. Saugus will go back on offense in just a few minutes. And in the meantime, go to tinyurl.com slash KPN Live or scan the QR code on the screen to leave a donation. Any amount will be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. We love bringing you high school sports here. Don't forget, we still got playoffs coming up for the fall sports. It looks like the field hockey and the soccer team is going to be having some playoff games. Uh, as far as the football team is concerned, we're not quite sure right now. They got to win tonight. They're on their way to doing that right now. You know, we'll check up on that in a couple of weeks. But it looks like at least the field hockey in the uh, soccer teams doing very well. Nice kick by Whitfeld. Saugus will have it. 15, 20, 25, 30. He's got a corner. Look out. He's got a corner. Cuts it back inside. Takes it down over the 40. He's still on his feet. And he takes it all the way down to the 30. Number 11, Isaiah Rodriguez. Nice return. And Isaiah Rodriguez, an excellent return for Sargis, but we do have a penalty flag. I think we might have an illegal block. No, a hold. Okay. Well, okay. But it will still be Sargis's ball. That was a nice return. Okay, the spot of the foul, okay, was down there, right, okay. Um, ball will be placed on the 36. So 345 left in the half. Saugus still has time to get down there and get a, get a score before half and get themselves back in this game. Oh, bad snap. Down he goes. Did he recover it? Well, they're fighting for it still. Flag. We get a, a, a post a post whistle flag. I think the Saugus player recovered the ball, but the Gloucester player was trying to unsportsmanlike conduct. It's on Saugus. Oh, it's both okay. Offsetting. So they're calling, uh, so it's offsetting penalties. But with the bad snap, they lost uh, 10 yards. Second down in about 21, yeah, they lost 11 yards on that play. He rolls out, throws it, and it, is it picked off? Yes, it is. <laughs> By Whitfelt. Nice play, Cameron Whitfelt. Oh, rough in the passer. 
So take away the interception and give Sargas a first down on a personal foul. We have a timeout on the field. In the meantime, go to tinyurl.com slash Live or scan the QR code on the screen to leave, a, to leave a donation. Any amount will be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. 21 nothing. Fisherman lead it. 3.05 remaining in the first half. And we've had some uh, penalties the last minute or so. That's given some teams a first down. It was a rough in the passer on Gloucester. That last play. So the ball's on the uh, Saugus 39. First and 10. He keeps it. That was number one. Tommy, Tommy to Simon. Gain of three in that play by De Simon. He quarterbacked on that play, but here comes the uh, the starter now, number six. Jordan Rodriguez. He's just a sophomore. Clock running two and a half minutes. All right, second down, seven. Throws it out there. He's got a man. Did he catch it? Yes. It's completed. That's Rodriguez again. Isaiah Rodriguez with a nice play. Cameron Whitfeld said he was pushing off, but uh, no can do. So it's first and ten, Saugus. No, their offense hasn't looked that bad tonight. They just can't get in the end zone. It's 21 nothing Gloucester. Sog is trying to get on the board here before the half. Trying to stay in this game. There it is again. Throws it out there. Oh, nice defensive play. Another flag. Come on. Oh, I think we're going to have a late hit. It wasn't it wasn't pass interference. We're gonna have a late hit. Brady Pat knocked it down with an excellent play. But I think we get a late hit after the after the play. Well the refs are talking about it now. Certainly wasn't pass interference. That was an excellent play by Brady Patton. The referees are discussing it. Personal foul, yeah. Personal foul on the fisherman, unsportsmanlike conduct. He was hit after the play. After the incomplete pass, we get a timeout. Okay, the fishermen are going to call a timeout now after the personal foul. I think what may have happened on that last play, the Glossa D back thought maybe that receiver was going to catch the ball, and he threw his shoulder into him, but Brady Pat had already knocked it away. Because I don't think he would have hit him if he didn't need to. So, a personal foul on the fisherman, first and ten, Saugus. The ball is being placed. Um, looks like the 20. Yep, 20 yard line. Or just outside the 20. Yeah, the down to the 21, yard 21 yard line. Okay, it's on the 21. 
So first and ten, Sargas. They, they, you know, they, they're going to try to get on the board before the half. Try to stay in this game. Okay, here come the Sachems. First and ten. Throws it out there again, and it's almost picked off. Knocked down by Jackson Allen. This quarterback is throwing to the same receiver the whole time. The fisherman should be on top of number 11. They double teed him that time. Number 11 is their main target. Okay, number 11 spreads out to the right. Yeah, it's one on one out to the right. Let's see what he does here. No, they throw it this way. They complete it. Nice move. He's taken down at about the 15. Tommy Cameron, the receiver for Saugus, number 28. And timeout, Glosser again. So Glosser, I believe, is down to one. 21 nothing, Gloucester. Third down and three for Saugus. They're trying to get on the board before half. 1-0-9 remaining. tinyurl.com slash Live, or scan the QR code on the screen to leave a donation. Thank you very much here at KPN Live. Lost the high football here tonight. Okay, here comes the Saugus offense. 109 remaining. They're facing the third and three. It's probably it's definitely four down territory for them. Fades back. Throws it out there. That should be picked. Oh. Almost picked off. Well, the fisherman could have a couple of pick sixes tonight. Fourth down and three for Sargas. And if they don't get it here, the fishman might have a little, uh, just under a minute to do something on offense. Let's see what Sargas comes up with. He rolls out. Got a receiver. Overthrows him. He may have gotten the first down, too. So 58 seconds. Glosser will go back on offense. Boy, the Saugus quarterback, he's really kicking himself. He had the receiver open. Just slightly overthrew him, and they didn't get the first down. That was the fourth down play. So here comes Gucciardi, number two for Gloucester. Let's see what the fishermen do here with uh, 58 seconds left. Let's see if they take a chance downfield. Empty backfield. Gucciardi, yeah, he's, he's throwing. Uh oh, here comes the pressure. Oh, he got sacked. Dylan Clark was in on the sack for Sargas, number five. And I think now, if you're Gloucester, just let the clock run out. 
You just lost big. You lost, lost six yards there. Second down, 16. Yeah, we're under 30 seconds now. They got to run one more play. He ended off. Oh, it's a fake. Gucciardi kept it. But he can't get to the outside. And he goes out of bounds. But that four seconds left. He got out of bounds, so there's one more play. So there's one more play. He gained four on the play, so it was third and 12. If you gloss it right now, throw the ball downfield. You got nothing to lose. You're ahead 21 nothing. You got trips right. Cucciati, he rolls that way. He looks. He throws it downfield. And it's. It's intercepted. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my God. It's not what you wanted. And he gets pushed out of bounds. So Tommy. Disomi. This, this, that's his name. All right. At the end of the first half, Fisherman lead it 21 0. We'll be back with second half action in a few moments. farm about 3,500 acres. There's pipelines everywhere. The contractor working on my property did not have the lines located before he began work, and it resulted on a strike on a natural gas pipeline. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but it could have been much worse. Call an 811 or visiting clickbeforeyoudig.com in the U.S. Only takes minutes to do, and it can save your life. Although the fishermen should be out any minute right now. I saw him come out of the locker room. Here they come now. 21-0 Gloucester. Saugus will start the uh, second half with the ball. It was too bad they didn't score towards the end because uh, they would have had the ball. To, they have the ball to start this uh, second half. But it's 21-0 Gloucester. As far as the Saugus offense is concerned, it's looking pretty decent, but... They haven't been able to get in the end zone. They also got aided by a couple of penalties. Two rough on the passes by Gloucester and a rough on the punter. Help keep uh, a couple of drives alive for the Sachems. So like I said at the top of the show, this is a big Division 5 game. 
Fisherman ranked 20. Sargas ranked 22. And the winner of this game will stay in the hunt. Let's just let's put it that way. The loser of this game, it's going to be an uphill battle to get in when you consider there's only two more games left during the eight-game qualification period. So if Gloucester can come out of this game, they'll be four and two. Um, they'll be at Peabody next week. That's going to be no picnic. Still waiting for the arrival of the Saugus team. Plus, the kickoff team is getting ready, but the referee is uh, telling them, not yet. Told them to go back to the sidelines. Here comes August now. Fifty fifty raffle worth two hundred and eight dollars tonight, not bad. On a Thursday night. With a lot of Thursday night games this year. Due to you know referee availability. Perhaps you heard Gary Stanton, the PA announcer, give the 50-50 number. Just a very pleasant evening down here at Newell Stadium. Hardly any wind. Temperature in the high 50s, maybe low 60s. And the Saugus team, boy, they're taking their sweet old time coming out of the locker room. They're coming out in dribs and drabs. for that Saugus team to get organized over there. <laughs> Sweet old time, well, I'll say. All right, finally, we can get going here. And here comes Cameron Whitfeld. He approaches the ball, kicks it away. Nice kick again. And it goes into the end zone. It's a touchback. So Sargis will come out on offense to start the second half, and uh, they need some points if they want to stay in this game. Ball's on the 20-yard line. All right, first play, second half. They're throwing. Oh, they almost had him. Oh, they got him. Main, okay, they did lose a yard in the play, so it was a sack. Okay. He got by the first tackler. 
but then he didn't get by the second one, and he ended up losing the yard. So it's second down 11 for the Saugus team. Second down 11. Fades back. Heaves it out there. It is. It's caught. Tommy D. Simone. What a nice catch. D. Simone. That was one nice catch. First down, Saugus. No, Jordan Rodriguez, the quarterback from Saugus, he's not a very big kid, but he throws a pretty good ball. Fades, throws it again, and it's incomplete. He threw that one on the ground that time. So second down and 10 for Saugus. Opening drive, second half. And look for Saugus to do a lot of passing in this half. A lot of incompletions and a lot of clock stoppages. Heaves it out there. Knocked away. Nice play. Cameron Rodolosi, number 10. He's having a pretty good game tonight. Lots of defensive backs are playing very well tonight. <clears throat> Ten and a half minutes left. Third quarter. 21 nothing Fish. All right, third down 10 for Saugus. Fades back, throws it. It's caught. It's a first down. Oh, good tackle. Number eight for Gloucester, uh, Chase Gula. Otherwise, that's a touchdown. So a nice play there for Saugus. Keeps the drive alive. Their offense is, is moving the ball, but they can't get in the end zone. First and ten. They're inside Gloucester territory now. And it's completed again. That was Rodriguez again, number 11. Second down five. So Saugus moving the ball. Their first drive of the game, and then in a pick six. Second down. Throws it out there again. He's got the man. Oh, just out of his reach. Tabubi was the intended receiver. Amin Tabubi. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> All right, third down five for Saugus. They're probably in four down territory. They lose the ball, and they lose yardage. That was a bad snap from center. And Rodriguez, the quarterback, couldn't hang on to it. Now it brings up a fourth and eight for Saugus. So it's a fourth and eight for Gloucester. I mean, excuse me, for Saugus.
All right, fourth down. Here we go. Rodriguez. He's got a man. Oh, deflected away just at the last second by Brady Patton again. And Brady Patton's having an excellent game on defense for the Fisherman, number four. <clears throat> and the Fisherman will take over on downs. Number four, Brady Patton. What a, what a game he's having on defense. So first and ten fishermen, their, open, their first uh, possession of the second half. No, oh, we got a flag. The uh, fishermen moved. So we're going to have a first down and 15. Move the ball back five yards. So the fisherman gets set back by a penalty. It's first down and 15. So the fisherman is still looking to run their first play of the second half. Motion goes over to Losi. Gucciati keeps it. Cuts to the outside. Can't get much. But he ended up getting a, a little bit. We gained about six, and we got got some yards back from the penalty. So it's second and eight. That was a nice run by Cucciati. Like I said, he was he played running back last year. He's quarterback in tonight. Was it Souza? I thought I thought it was Cucciati. Hand off, Souza. Gains a few yards. Another nice gain for Souza. It's going to bring up a third and th three. Yeah, third and a long three. Yeah, three and a half for Gloucester. I want to thank all you folks for tuning in tonight. KPN live coverage of Gloucester High School football. Fishermen looking to go to four and two in the season and keep their playoff hopes alive. Defense moved. Good in the neutral zone. Give Gloucester a first down. So the penalty gives Gloucester a first down. So it's first and ten Gloucester at the 46. The clock is running. And that's the best news for the fisherman. The clock is running. Throws it out there. Nowhere. Rodolosi. But the fisherman lost the yardage on that play. I've never been a big fan of those wide receiver screens. They just don't seem to gain any yards, even at the pro level. So it's second down and 12 for the fishermen. Whitfeld in motion. Sousa the ball carrier. 
Gain of about three. So it's third down and ten. Back to the original line of scrimmage we are. Here comes Gucciardi. Gucciardi rolls out. He's looking, throws it, completes it. Got the Whitfelt. Gucciardi to Whitfelt. First down, Fisherman. <clears throat> That was the gain of about 13 on that play. So a nice pitch and catch. Gucciardi to Whitfelt. Two weeks ago, that might have been just the opposite. First and 10, Gloucester. At the Saugus, 35. Gloucester taking their time. Letting that clock tick. Gucciardi keeps it. He might have lost a yard on that play. Oh, no gain at all. No. Yeah, might have lost a half yard. Second down, 10. Clock is moving. Three and a half minutes remaining. Third quarter. 21 nothing Gloucester. Fisherman will be at Peabody next week. Peabody, one of the best teams there is. Souza has a nice hole. He pushes that pile. He gets close to a first down. Not quite. He picked up about nine on the play. And it's going to bring up a third and short for Gloucester. Max Thomas just checks in for Gloucester. Freshman. Number 65. And the fishermen do a QB sneak, but they're off sides. False start. <clears throat> so now it's going to be about a third and six. And we got an injured player. The Saugus player injured. So we have a timeout on the field. 21 nothing Gloucester. To make a donation to KPN Live, go to tinyurl.com slash KPN Live or scan the code on the bottom of the screen to leave a donation. Thank you very much. So we got player for Saugus down. Trying to get a number. Girl. 
Who, Everett? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're only the best team in the state. <laughs> yeah, you know. All right. Offsides penalty on Gloucester on that last play. So it's going to bring up a third down and six. That Saugus player walked up on him. He walked off out of his own power. Appears to be all right. We approach two minutes remaining, third quarter. A third down facing the fishermen right now. Sousa, big hole. First down, Gloucester. That was a huge play. Now they can hang on to the ball for the for the remaining balance of this quarter, anyways. At least the clock, clock running. 1.39 remaining. Third quarter. Fisherman are doing a nice job of, uh, of clock control here tonight. And that's key for a team like Gloucester. Ball possession. You know, we don't have the big wide receivers here. Or no. Throws it out. Caught by Whitfeld on the wide receiver screen, but it goes nowhere. Yeah, another one, another, another short gain on that wide receiver screen. They give him one, second down to nine. We're under a minute now in the third quarter. 45 seconds. All right, Fisherman doing a good job this quarter of keeping the clock moving. One more play here this quarter, and uh, we can take it into the fourth. Motion goes Whitfelt. They hand it off to him. Sweep right. And he's... I think he's going to get the first down. He got out of bounds. That stops the clock. I think he got the first down. He was close to it. Yep. Okay. Eight seconds remaining. And that's the end of the third quarter. The score, the Fisherman 21, the Sachems nothing. As we take it into the fourth quarter, the switch ends of the field, the Fisherman will be going towards the river. So the ball is being placed on the 11-yard line. And I think the fisherman can still get a first down. Uh, actually, um, let's see. Where's the ball? Yeah, it's on the 11. But the fisherman can still get a first down at the 1. It's first and ten at the eleven yard line. Cucciati throws it out there and it's oh incomplete. He was looking for Brady Patton.
Number 20, Chris Mazin with the defensive play for Sargas. Fisherman looking to uh, put the lights out on Sargas this drive. Motion goes over to Losi. Gucciotti keeps it. Oh, but he can't get to the outside. Now he does. He, go, he did good getting a few yards. I thought he was going to get caught in the backfield. But it's going to bring up a third down in eight, third and nine. Not much of a gain on that last play. Third and nine. <laughs> you hear the fans here in Gloucester. <laughs> to the river. Fisherman ahead on that direction now. Second and nine. And what do we got? And more motion on Gloucester. And the Fishermen have hurt themselves with offside penalties tonight. So move the ball back five yards. Set third down and 14. Third and 14. Gucciotti looking, throws incomplete. He was looking for Whitfeld, but overthrew him. And there was no one there. But it brings up a fourth down. Will we, will we see a field goal here? Fourth down. It appears they're going to go for it. Oh, no, they are going to kick a field goal. All right. Be a 32-yarder. All right, Cameron Whitfeld, a 32-yard field goal. <laughs> Gucciotti the holder. Snap ball down. Kick is up. Is it? No good. Wide left. Wide left. All right, so that drive ended with no points, but the fisherman did take a lot of time off the clock. I mean, the drive started uh, with just about six minutes left in the third quarter. And they took another minute or so off in this quarter. So that was a long drive for Glossa. It resulted in no points. But they still maintain a 21 nothing edge. All right, so Saugus has the ball on their own 20, first and 10. And look for them to air it out. He airs it out, all right. Broke it up again. That was Cameron Rotolosi. Rotolosi having a good game on defense. So ain't Brady Patton. Number 10 and number 4. Came in Whitfeld, too. Gloss at defensive backs, having a good game tonight. At Peabody next week, folks. The high flying Peabody Tanners. Second down, 10. Pass incomplete. He threw it too low. The attendant receiver was number seven, Connor Bloom. That was number two. You're right. Okay. Number two was the tenant receiver. 
Amin Tabubi. Third and ten. Fisherman could really pinch Saugus on this play. It's picked off. Rodolosi. He could take it in. Another pick six. No, he gets tackled. Cameron Rodolosi. Have a game, dude. And tonight it's been the Gloucester defensive backs. Rodolosi, Patton, Whitfelt. No Souza at linebacker with the pick six earlier tonight. All right, so the fishermen have the ball at the seven. Make it the eight. Is that pitch up front again? Oh, is it going to work? It's Rodolosi, and he gets in the end zone. Cameron Rodolosi. Oh, no, is he hurt now? Oh, my God. That's what all, but he gets right back up. Okay. He had us all scared there for a minute. <laughs> it's 27 nothing, Fisherman. Cameron Rodolosi, have a nice game tonight, buddy. Just a sophomore. Brady Patton, another good game for him. All right, Whitfelt <laughs> looking for the extra point. He just missed the 32-yarder. Snap ball down, and it's blocked. Blocked. Good job by the Saugus defensive line. They get good penetration, and they got in there and blocked it. All right. All right, so the teams head back upfield with the score. Gloss at 27 the Saugus Sachem's nothing. And now the only thing left for this game is for the Fishermen to hang on to the shutout. Still got nine minutes, 49 seconds left. And not only has Whitfeld kicked uh, well, three extra points tonight, but his kickoffs have been outstanding. They're all going in the end zone except for one of them. So Whitfeld tees it up at the 40. Let's see how far we can kick this one. Another boomer. It's fielded at the 10. 15, 20. It's Rodriguez again. Brings it up to the 40. 11, Isaiah, Rodriguez. Isaiah Rodriguez. So the Sachems will come out on offense with 9.38 left in the game. They trail it 27 nothing, And you know they're going to air it out. These clots of defensive backs are going to be licking their chops. Patton, Whitfelt, Rodolosi. Number 50 just checked into the game. Nico Alves. All right, here comes Saugus.
Hand off, gain of about one. Joe Gucciotti just checked in, number 35. Aiden Cahill just checks in again, number 57. So the fishermen trying to get some younger bodies into this game. They're up by four touchdowns. Swing pass, caught. Nice move. First down, Saugus. Dylan Clark, nice move. Clark caught that ball in the flat, made a couple of nice moves, and got the first down. My first and ten, Saugus, to inside Gloucester territory. And it's incomplete. Pass was intended. Number 35 made the play, Gucciotti. Tommy DeSimone was the intended receiver, number one. Second and ten for the Saugus team. Pass is caught. And it looks like it's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown Saugus. Amin Tabubi catches the ball flying down the middle of the field and Saugus gets, in the, gets on the scoreboard. 27-6. They're probably going to go for two point conversion here. Well, they really don't matter. Three touchdowns will be the deficit, anyways. But let's see what they do. They're probably going to go for two. Yep, they're going for two. All right. Quarterback throws at it. And is, is it caught? Yes, it is. The two-point conversion is good. That was Isaiah Rodriguez to reception. That was a nice catch. That ball was going down to the ground. But he was able to scoop it. So the teams head back upfield. The fishermen lead it 27-8. to eight. With 8.03 remaining in the game. And the fishermen will go back on offense. So all they need to do is kill the clock. Nothing fancy. Just run the ball up the middle and let the clock run. Make Saugus use their timeouts. Knock out a few first downs. But the fishermen are expecting an onside kick. I can tell the alignment that they're in. They got two players, uh, two rows of players within five yards of each other. So they're expecting the onside kick. There's only one player back deep for Gloucester. They, he missed the ball. Yeah. It's a swing and a miss. So they're going to set the ball back five yards. He's swinging a miss. They use the baseball terminology. <laughs> but now the fishermen are pretty much sure they're going to do it on side kick. It really doesn't matter five yards from the. 
They're still going to execute an onside kick. So a little cat and mouse game going on. So let's see what Saugus does now. The fishermen are still anticipating the onside kick. Fishermen get 10 players within five yards of each other. They got one player back deep at the 40. And now they spread it. Okay. They still might do it. They do it, all right. The oh, it's available. Look out. All right, Whitfelt gets on it. All right, Cameron Whitfelt recovers it on the 38-yard line of Gloucester. Where they come on out. Let's see where they spot. I thought it was a 38. Oh, 39, yep. Okay. So Cameron Whitfelt gets on the onside kick. Fisherman will go back on offense with 7.59 left in the game. Hand off. The ball carrier was Sousa. Souza, Jaden Souza again. Oh, Caden Souza. That was a nice gain. Gain of five. And it's all the fishermen are going to do. Hang on to the ball. And let that clock tick. Whitfeld, jet sweep, cuts it up, finds a hole, gets the first down, gets over the 50. And he gets inside the 50 down to the 46-yard line. And it's first and 10 Gloucester. First and ten. Sousa, oh, not this time. <clears throat> Number five. Good to. D Dylan Clark. <clears throat> Lost shadows on that play. What a good defensive play that was, though, by number five, Dylan Clark of Saugus. Penetrated the backfield. He met Souza. Peabody beat Winthrop 22 7 tonight. Score just in. Souza and doesn't get much. Matic maybe a yard. Well, they give him a couple. So it's a third down and about nine. Maybe even 10. Ball is just outside the 45-yard line of Saugus. 
Five minutes left in the game. Souza. And the Saugus defense is tightening up now. Might be a little too late for him, but they're not they're not giving in. It's fourth down for Gloucester, and I think they're gonna take their sweet old time on this decision. But here comes Gucciati, so I think they're going to go for it. You might even want to take a delay a game here and punt. <laughs> they're going to go for it, fourth and eight. And timeout, Gloucester. No, timeout, Gloucester. So the fishermen call timeout on a fourth and eight. Um, um, maybe they want to reconsider. Maybe they are going to punt. That's what I would have done. All right, it, it looks like they are going to stay on offense. Whitfeld is out there. He's going to punt it. Watch. Yeah, I knew he was. I knew he was going to do that. And Saugus had no one down there. And can they get there? No, went in the end zone. That was good strategy for the fishermen there. <laughs> they got a Whitfelt back there. He wasn't really in punt formation. He was more like a shotgun. But he did punt the ball. And Saugus had no one back there to return it. But the ball ended up rolling in the end zone. So the ball comes out on the 20. So that wasn't a bad move there by Gloucester. Saugus has three minutes, 40 seconds left to score three touchdowns. <laughs> First and ten. Fades back. Throws it. It's caught. De Simone. First down, Saugus. They go to a no huddle. He f it's fumbled, and the fisherman recovered it. Number 55, Evan Mione, recover the fumble. And we got an injured Gloucester player. We got a minute and 58 left in the game. And we have an injured Gloucester player on the field. And it was Anthony Russo. He seems to be running off under his own power.
He appears to be okay. So Gloucester goes back on offense again with just under two minutes left in the game. And let's see who, who's in there now. I've got the same, same team. Okay. All right. Gucciotti keeps it, makes a move, cuts to the outside, cuts back inside, and gets down to the 20. Close to a first down, but not quite. But Saugus is now calling timeouts. So Saugus will probably call all their timeouts and make this minute and a half last forever. So it'll be a second down and about two for the fishermen. That was a nice gain there by Gucciotti. So the fishermen will go to four and two on the year. Uh, keep their playoff hopes alive. Top 16 get in. Fishermen came into this game ranked number 20 in Division 5. So they need to do this win to, just to stay alive. Next week, they're at Peabody. The following week, the Fishermen will be back home against Beverly. And that game could mean everything for Gloucester. We'll see what happens. All right, second down and two. Gucciati keeps it again. He's got plenty of room this time. And try to stay in bounds, but he got. Oh no, he keeps the clock rolling. First down. One minute left in the game. And they're keeping the clock running, even though he got out of bounds. So next week, again, at Peabody. So four and two, that's six games. Believe it or not, folks, only two games remaining in the playoff qualification part of the schedule. That's the first eight games. Cucciati keeps it again. Oh, there's a block. There's a touchdown, but we're not going to have it. There's a block behind the back. That's a block behind the back. I don't think I think they're going to take it back. Yeah, pushing the back for Gloucester. Gucciati scored, but I think it was Caden Souza who, I think he kind of knew it. <laughs> but one more play left in this game. Mm. Most of the fans have uh, gone on home. And they'll take a knee. And any more timeouts left? I don't think so. And that's it. So, the final score. The Gloucester Fisherman 27, the Saugus Sachems 8. Like I said, Gloucester will go to 4-2 and two in the season. Next week, they're at Peabody. Um, I want to thank Jim Capello. As the two teams will shake hands. I'm Phil Nicastro. Have a great weekend, everybody. Until next time for Gloucester High School Football. Thank you, everyone.